Our topic is electricity from home water tank. We are coming from St. Teresa's Anglo Indian Higher Secondary School, Kandu. I am Ravina, Shusanaka, Ashita, Malavika, and Adira. Uh, first, we'll, uh, uh, each home can be converted into uh, uh, each home can be converted into uh, a power house, and each tap can be converted into a generator. Then the result will be a model house which is independent and which we can inculcate the idea of model, which we can inculcate the idea of being independent rather being a consumer in all walks of life, especially in electrical energy. Now we can go on to the model. This is a smart tap. When the electricity is when the water flows from the pardon, when the water flows from the pipe due to the force of the water this turbine turns due to the force of the water the turbine turns and here here the electricity get produced in the, this dynamo and this produced electricity is stored in a storage battery whenever the tap is opened the electricity is produced thus we can store it in a storage battery and when it is necessary we can use it so when we measure the volt, it is about 10 to 8 volt when we get. There are three factors which influence the flow of the production of the electricity. One is the force of the water. The other is inside this uh, dynamo, there is one magnet and the coil, the turn of the coil, then strength of the magnet and the force of the uh, water. These three are the factors which influence the amount of electricity which we can produce. Uh, not only in schools but also in water distributing agencies, then uh, um, in schools, in hospitals, all these ways we can install it. There is no disadvantages for our project. There is only one limitation that is device which need more electric power cannot be worked. For example, the uh, uh, luxurious devices like uh, um, um, AC, then microwave oven, refrigerators, all those. There are two types of uh, um, turbines one is uh, one is this and one is a screw type propeller this screw type propeller can be kept in the streams flowing streams rivers etc in the stream uh, now we know in Kerala there is a lot of streams and uh, rivers and there are, there are it is also highly populated area so we'll keep it in the rivers and we can uh, produce a lot of uh, amount of uh, electricity which we get will be more we can also put keep it this in the rainwater harvesting and we had also made practical in our schools too and now we can look the different way uh, different ways in which we can utilize our smart app in schools and in hospitals uh, in home when we consider home we if we have if we have minimum four taps three can be connected in series wise and one can be connected in parallel wise as shown here and the effective voltage thus got will be 4.8 voltage into 3 that is 14.4 voltage and the current thus got will be 2 into 250 milliampere that is 500 milliampere and the power thus got will be 7.2 watts and also it can be practiced in, practiced in schools and in hospitals and the effective power that we get will be 48, 40, uh, 48 watts and this will be connected to a storage battery as shown here and this will be uh, help this will help for us to uh, lighten the LEDs now let us look the advantage of this system that is it is very easy method and initial cost is affordable electricity can be saved in a st rechargeable storage battery and also can save the electricity inculcate the idea of being dependent a producer rather than being a consumer in the case of electricity and LED needs only less current there is no maintenance work for this smart app system and it, it effectively saves the power too. Any existing tap can be converted into a powerhouse in the case of this electricity. Now, suppose if we use 3 CFLs of 15 watts daily for 5 hours, electrical energy uses 3 into 15 watts into 5 hours, that is 225 watts per hour. That's equal to 0.225 kilowatts per hour. According to electric, uh, elect, according to Kerala Electricity Board, there are 94 lakh consumers of electricity. Let's see how we can save electricity by installing our device. That is, if 94 lakh consumers use 3 CFLs of 15 watts for 5 hours daily, the electrical energy consumed daily is 94 lakh into 0.225 kilowatts hours. That's equal to, to 21 lakh 15,000 units. If one third of Indian population use smart taps and saves electricity, that is 30 crores of Indian population uses this technical technology, 30 crore into 225 uh, megawatts is equal to 6,75,000 megawatts daily. So hence we can conclude that we can save energy uh, uh, by using our system and we are daily we are saving 6,75,000 megawatts daily. 
LED needs only a very less voltage and current. The CFL bulbs which we use at present is very harm to our environment. Uh, that is, they produce, uh, that is, there is a substance called mercury present in the CFL. And when we dispose CFL into the soil, the mercury present in the CFL get released into the soil and it affects the natural structure of the soil and the atmosphere. As our government is distributing 1.5 crores of CFL to the public at a very cheap rate to reduce the consumption of electricity without thinking about the disposal of CFL, it is a coming generation who is going to suffer. But we hope that our project may be a solution to that and we can participate in the campaign against global warming.